Good morning, everyone. I'm out in the driveway, and our project is getting done. We're doing a little bit every single day, and this is the result so far. This was all rutted, and um, we had the risk of getting stuck in this area. So we got this at least six to eight inches deep here. I tried to keep a nice line there. <laughs> Tidiness sometimes you can do and sometimes you can't. This is what's left of our pile. I don't know if you can get a, a feel for it. It's not that big anymore. And on the back side here, this is what we've gotten done so far. I'm walking on stones, so I'm wobbling. <laughs> we got pretty far back. We're actually, what we're trying to do is make a path for the heavy truck to come in and keep his tires on the rock so that he can get back and start dumping stuff in here. We haven't had rain, not any substantial rain that would re-moisten this to any degree. So there's no standing puddles at all in the driveway right now. So we're hoping this here will dry out enough that he can back all the way to the edge of it, which is right there around the, where the grass gets green again. And then if he can um, tie the gate open, the tailgate on the dump uh, area of the truck, and then slowly drive forward, we won't have to spread stone this coming time. So we have about less, well, we're going to wait till after the holiday weekend, and then we're going to bring our next load in. So we are doing awesome with getting this done. We have not tried to drive on it yet. But as soon as that piles down enough, we're going to try and get our hay trailer part way back so we're not carrying hay as far for the goats. But you can see we're quite a distance. Let's see if I can get back here. There you go. We're quite a distance from the gate now. And to us, that's a win. Yes, it's been hard work. But it was necessary to get this driveway working again. And it still may be a couple more weeks to a month before we can go through the really bad spot. But if we can get that truck back to that bad spot, he can dump a load of rocks in it. Which will get us through it then, unless we get more heavy rains. I believe we are heading into more fall, fall type weather, which means drier. And that's good for us with this driveway situation. Um... But, yeah, the sun's coming out. It's hot. We're still getting 90 degree days here, so it's very hot. We only work for an hour, maybe two at the most. We do bring, um, we have like cooler bags up here with Gatorade and water, so we're staying very well hydrated. And uh, we have the air conditioning cranking at the cabin, so when we come back in, we can cool off. And the goal is just to get this, dri this truck driver comfortable enough that he can back in here further. Because if he can start dumping back in here and then just put a thick layer of stone all the way out, this part of the driveway will be done. Period. Just done. We won't have to do it again. At least we hope not for a long time. And if we do down the road, we might only just have to have somebody come in and, and spread another thin layer on top. And that's kind of what our thinking is. So that's kind of where we're at. You can see this is still pretty bad right here. This is going to take a lot of stone to fill this area right here. And you see how deep those ruts are? That's one of our hurdles. We've got to get these ruts filled in to a degree that this truck is going to get back here safely. So you can see how far around we were driving to try and stay on more solid ground it did work now i don't believe we will be putting stone all the way over that far we don't need to we need to just stay inside these trees this line right here from here over i believe is what's necessary so that line will probably leave that way unless it becomes a problem even if it holds water as long as the water is going that direction we're okay with that and then our next hurdle will definitely be the main hole down there. You can see our driveway kind of does a little bit of this. And there's a hump right there. 
and everything up here drains that way usually so that's going to be the big hurdle there and i'm thinking that area might take three loads of stone guys because we've got to build it up to the point where it's no longer flooding in there well the nice thing with stone though the water can percolate through it and go where it needs to go or can percolate through the actual sand base so but i wanted to give you the update we have been out here working for a little while this morning so by the end of the day, we'll even have more done, but this is just a quick update to let you see. It can be done. You just got to do it methodically. Work at it in increments. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't lift heavy. And do not um, overwork yourself and stay hydrated. That's our key components to us being able to do this. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and have a blessed day.